Hey guys, I am here um, about to get a video started, um, as you guys can probably tell from the title, and my bridge is broken. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to get like the printer working and whatnot. Um, we're going to turn it on real quick. It is plugged in, as you guys can tell, I have these chairs here. All of my stuff is out um, off the table. I did clean off the table as well. Um, it is very much a dark out, so i got to be quiet. There are people sleeping. Um, so yeah, we have out here. Alright, so we're gonna get into the video. Um, yeah, all the stuff we're gonna leave, we do not need any of those tools. We only need a single thing. So check out over here, where on things, it focuses on the thing, as you guys can tell, right there, it says zero degrees and it says 19. I'm gonna go into here, and I'm going to heat it up. Um, now this next part, you guys aren't necessarily going to be able to tell. So I'm heating it up to about 45, which is, you know, an average. You don't really go higher than 45, 60 is way too much. So check it out. It says 45, all right? All right, and I'll feel the, the print bed in a little bit, and it will feel like it's getting hard. However, it's still going to be 19. It's probably going to stay around room, roomish temperature, I think. Oh, it's pretty cold. Um, yes, it's going to stay at a low degree. I can probably use that to, to test the degrees. So the person that usually fixes my printer is, um, he's in college right now, he's in school right now, so yeah, there's nothing I can really do, so everything works, the printer, um, I have messed around with a couple different things, if I move the axis, as you can tell, this is going to work, and that, this is actually going to help, we're actually going to uh, lock this in place, and that's exactly what we're doing right now, um, as well as I can move the X axis, and I can move the I can move the uh, Z axis. Um, okay, maybe I can't move the Z axis. What the hell? All right, guys. So I figured it out. Basically, if you guys can tell, right there, there's like a little little white thing right right here, and this thing was actually unplugged a little bit. It was already unplugged, but um, you know. Your boy gotta leave it, leave it plugged. So this is locked. I, however, cannot move this, and it is very much so getting warm. I cannot tell you guys that, but yeah, no, I can definitely feel it's warm, and it's still only 20 degrees. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, what the, f what the hell, man? What, what, what the hell is this problem? So I come back here, you know, I'm just checking, you know, wires plugged in, and that's there, you know, this is probably going to get hot soon, you know, blah, 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 doing checks, making sure the extruder is fine, uh, making sure this is fine, what the hell, I'm making sure everything's fine, <laughs> oh, whatever, so I come over here and I see this little, little white wire, you know, and I actually take this out, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> something came out. <laughs> So something did come out, and it was really, really upsetting me. I was like, what the hell is this issue? <gasps> and then it just popped. It just popped right in my head. And I figured out it is not heating up. So if I bring this right here, right, 21 degrees, and I bring the little wire, right, if I put my fingers on the top of the wire, see that temperature just shoot up? Now that is because that's the thing that actually tests the temperature for the print bed to make sure it's the right degrees. I, however, am not 45 degrees on my hands. It's not that hot. So, here's what I have to do. I cannot get under the printer, and that's where the wire came out of. I'll show you guys in a minute exactly how it uh, exactly where it came out of. Just let me set up first. Everything is all plugged in. Uh, this is, as you guys will see in a second, there are a lot of wires. But we now need to figure out the issue of the printer. We need to now solve this. Anybody remember algebra class? I'll give you a hint as how old I am. I am in algebra class. I am in algebra 1B. And in algebra 1B, a lot of the equations that we do is solve for x, solve for y, put y by itself, put x by itself, and then solve the equation. And that's what I did. Now that we have this variable, 
by itself, I'm going to say that this variable is t. We got the variable t by itself, all right? So I'm going to head underneath here real quick. Uh, all right. I'm probably extremely, extremely close to you guys. But now when I come down here, let me just move my hand off. Oh, it's so tight down here. So you guys can tell, um, the this little piece right here is some type of pack that heats up the print bed. And right there, there's like this weird rip. And I think that somehow when I touched this wire a little while ago, I might have messed with the white wire. And the white wire completely came out of here. So I'm gonna, today I'm gonna stick this in there and hopefully get the, uh, the temperature going up. All right, you guys, before I get right into this, I've already gotten into this, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the temperature slowly just rising up as I put it in. So I'm about to go plug it in. Let me go show you guys the temperature. All right, guys, check it out. It's 20 degrees. We need to bring this baby up to 45. I will tell you right now, it is definitely 45 or 46. It's hot, basically. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into this. Alrighty, you guys. So that's gonna about wrap it up. I'm going to put my printer back, put on my stuff back, and um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do it. Alrighty guys, check this amazing stuff out. We got a new issue. So this is D card snap, as you can tell right there. I got it. Alright you guys, I've gotten another SD card um, right here, as you can tell. This way. So I'm kind of upset that that one snapped. Um, I have had it for a little while, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. All right, everything's on. And video if you did please leave me a little like please subscribe please share and I'll see you peace